Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Peppa? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? Because I love to make things, and I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. I'm sure I put it in the loft. Ah, here's my old school bag. And here is my picture. Wow, it's a dragon. Grr. It's very good, Daddy. <coughs> yes, I was quite pleased with it. But it didn't get a star. Nope. Hmm, that's sad. It is the next day. Pepper and George are going to playgroup. <laughs> Look at this, Susie. <coughs> it's not fair, Peppa. You're too good at drawing. It's not my drawing. It's my daddy's. Oh, not so good for a grown-up. <coughs> he drew it a long time ago when he was little. Ah. Peppa, have you done another wonderful drawing? No, Madam Gazelle. This is my daddy's drawing. Ah, oh, yes. I remember your daddy did like to draw. But you never gave him a playgroup star. I must have given him one for this. No, you didn't. Daddy Pig, you deserve a playgroup star. Ho, oh, oh, ho. I've never been so proud. <laughs> daddy Pig is a playgroup star. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Daddy, you have to be the scarecrow. What? Oh, shoo, shoo, naughty birds. Now, stay there until the birdies go to bed. Oh, oh. Okay, Peppa. All the birdies have gone to bed. Daddy Pig can go inside now. It is morning. George, let's look at our flower garden. <laughs> Ooh, baby plants. Morning. Ah, your plants have started to grow. Soon they'll have flowers on them. A little snail has come to take a look. Oh, dear. Snails like eating plants. Grandpa Pig, can you take Barbara to your garden? Um, OK. I'll take care of Barbara. It is one week later. Peppa! George! Come and look! My flowers! They're so pretty! And look at George's plant. It's a beanstalk! And it goes all the way up to a giant's castle. Oh, oh, oh. no, Peppa. But it does go quite high. George's flower is taller than our house. Oh, ho, ho. George has grown a sunflower. Well done, George. <laughs> I love our flower garden. Now let's make you a vegetable garden. But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs, Daddy Pig. Like tomatoes, carrots and potatoes. I do like a nice potato. Daddy Pig loves potatoes. <laughs> Everyone loves potatoes. <laughs> it is Mr Bull and his friends. Bigger! Wayne! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No, it's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr. Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back.
That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the Chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! Hooray! <laughs> Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh! Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh... Where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now. Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas, and more apples! An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, delicious! Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too! And me! And me! Of course! What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK, raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. <laughs> Lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> oh, Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. It is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> That's heavy. 
Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! 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 This is the airport. Goodbye! Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> You can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh! Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. I saw. <laughs> That's magic. Watch me. Wow! Ah! Oops. I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. Here is Danny Dog. <coughs> What are you doing? We're playing bat and ball. My daddy is very good at it. He batted the ball all the way into the house. Well, can I play bat and ball too? Uh, maybe it's time for a different garden game. Like what? Limbo! What's limbo when it's at home? I'll show you. I know. You jump over it. It's much too high to jump over. Ho, ho, ho. We go under the limbo pole and we need music to do it. <laughs> Daddy Pig is very good at limbo. Wow! Ah, but now we'll put the pole a bit lower. <laughs> OK. Oh. Daddy, your tummy is too big. To go under the pole. My tummy is not too big. I just can't bend like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. And me. And me. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. Now we'll put the pole even lower. Ooh. Easy, Daddy. <laughs> it's impossible. Nobody can go under that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! George can do it! Hooray! George is the best at limbo dancing because he is little. <laughs> George likes playing garden games. Everyone likes playing garden games. It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. Uh, landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one, Mark II. Wow! Gently does it. Uh, yes. Like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. And now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. Um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please. <coughs> then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Peppa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. 
this is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put George in it. <laughs> uh, no, I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Land ahoy! <laughs> the ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig, they might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Hello there! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour! Bonjour, Delphine! Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs! Get your little Eiffel Towers here. The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no. That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh. a picnic, Mrs. Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs. Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. <coughs> oh. <coughs> it is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs. Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <coughs> <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll go, Peppa. <laughs> Good shot, Peppa. Oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Peppa, can you see the ball? Uh... A teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Peppa. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. 
Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. <laughs> Pepper and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Hold on to your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! <laughs> George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Pepper. I can reach it! I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. <laughs> oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. Marching <laughs> along. Beating your drums. That's it! Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my Majesty. <laughs> the next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. <laughs> This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Ugh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. Tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And, and me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? I know, I know. This music makes me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> this way! Follow me, everyone! <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles Slish, splash, slosh, slish, splash What do you mean? 
Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Would Mr Dinosaur like some extra stuff? <sighs> OK. Would Teddy like a new outfit? Here we have a smart sailor's uniform. But Teddy is a girl. Girls can be sailors too, Peppa. Yes, but Teddy doesn't want to be a sailor. How about a pilot? No. Deepsy diver? No. What about a princess? I think Teddy is happy not to have any clothes, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? No. Fair enough. Would Teddy like new eyes? You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What's a soul? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Just look at these eyes. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or even these googly eyes. The soul thingy might look a bit wrong with those eyes on. Teddy's eyes don't need changing, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? Does he want some new eyes? No. Fine. One thing I can offer you, Teddy, is a new voice. The voices come in little plastic boxes which go inside the doll. Hello. I love you. That isn't how Teddy talks. I'm so happy. I want to play. That's not Teddy. You are my best friend. But that's Penguin's voice. You are my best friend. Susie. Mr Dinosaur, do you want a new voice? <laughs> Silly question, really. There is one last thing I can do for you, Teddy. That's give you a wash. No, Teddy doesn't need a wash. OK, I'm finished. And it's good news. There's nothing wrong with Teddy or Mr Dinosaur. That's wonderful. Would you like to pay by cash or credit card? Oh. Teddy, I love you just the way you are. And I always will. <laughs> <laughs> Play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer? Not at the moment, Peppa. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. <laughs> We can play Happy Mrs Chicken! Hooray! <laughs> you did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no! I didn't press save! 40, 90, 10, million, 112! <laughs> well done, George! That's the highest score ever! <laughs> <laughs> my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick. Save, close, send. Phew. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Pepper. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook. Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow. wow. Mummy? Can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. Mummy Pig has arrived at the Playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book, so we must listen politely even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three zero. That's a lot of shopping. It's everything on Granny Pig's list. Where's the car? I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. Hello, taxi service. A taxi will be with you shortly. Sorry, I'm just popping out. Back in a mo. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty-ho, hop in. <laughs> So you've 
in shopping. Lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that. Shopping, shopping, Miss shopping. Rabbit, why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Peppa. Ah. Mind you, I had Mr Potato in the back of the car the other day. I thought he'd be... Granny well. Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. To get the food out, you will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water, Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> Granny Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Bye bye, little ones. Bye bye, Granny. Bye bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr. Wolf. Taxi. Hop in. Bye bye, Mr. Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. <coughs> Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <laughs> it's going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> the bridge is lifting up. Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> the bus is balancing on the bridge. No. What do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK. <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open-top buses are the best. <laughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Next stop, Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> Come on, have a splash, Your Majesty. It does look rather fun. And one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. <laughs> George wants to go surfing. Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh. The waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. 
Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Oh, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. <laughs> George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. What's that? Wave! Wave! wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! <Whoa. laughs> George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha <laughs> ha, right you are. <sniffs> Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes. Then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover! Hooray! <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. And how may we help you today? Dinosaur. George has lost Mr Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. Er, uh, actually, we were hoping some kind person might have found George's toy dinosaur and brought it here. I see. We'll need to question George. It's just routine. Please describe your dinosaur in your own words. Take your time. Use as many words as you like. Dinosaur! 
Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Excellent description. Hmm. We do have some lost dinosaurs in the back. Follow me. Wow! What a lot of stuff. Yes, it's amazing the things people lose. Umbrellas. Handbags. Pirate treasure. Wow! wow. Yes, pirates are always forgetting where they buried their treasure. People dig the treasure up, and when they can't find the pirate who legally owns it... They bring the treasure here. Funny thing is, not one single pirate has ever walked into our police station to claim their treasure. This cement mixer was found in a train. The passenger must have forgotten it. Ooh. And this banana was found in a shoe shop. How in the world it got there, we'll never know. <laughs> I'm sorry, young lad. What were we looking for again? Dinosaur. Oh, yes. Here we are. A box full of plastic dinosaurs. Is this your Stegosaurus? No. How about this Triceratops? No. This Brontosaurus? No. Hmm. I'm afraid that's all the toy dinosaurs we've got. Oh. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. Oh. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh, always remember to eat your seven. Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you, thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes! He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave <laughs> Mr. Potato goodbye. <laughs> oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. I cannot get out! Mr. Potato is stuck! Help! Let me out! What shall we do? Help! Call help. for Super Potato! Let me out! Super, Super Potato! potato. Super I potato. think he might be Super too potato. busy to come! No, really? Really, Super I do potato. not think that will work this time! No, Madam Gazelle, you just need to shout out with us! Okay! Help us, Super, Super potato. potato! There, it didn't work! Now I think we What's need What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Super Potato has come to the rescue. Using my super vegetable vision, I can see that my friend here is in trouble. Yes, you have to get him out. I will use my fruity strength to lift this roof off. <laughs> Super Potato has rescued Mr. Potato. Hooray! And remember, kids, when trouble calls... Eat your fruit and vegetables! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Seven! Always remember to eat your seven. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the caves! Ooh! It's so pretty and sparkly! <sighs> Amazing! Look! There's a little boat! On the board! <laughs> you know what? Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel! <laughs> It can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in. <gasps> Everyone out of the boat. I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry. We won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the ride of doom was the best bit.
it. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody. <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! <laughs> Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to... Uh... See you on the other side! Ah! Wait for me! Ah! 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 If that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant! Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Who wants to be in my perfume? I'm going to put you in my beaker of water. <laughs> Hello, butterfly. I'm making perfume. It's going to be the prettiest, smelliest perfume ever. <gasps> Lovely! Here is George. Stand back, George. I'm making perfume. Do you want to watch? <laughs> First, I pick a smelly flower. Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. No, George. You can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell! Yuck! George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa! Grandpa! Smell this! Pooey! It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. <coughs> and this is lavender. Smells like Granny Pig's perfume. Wow! That's a strong smell of lavender. Susie, Danny and Emily are pretending to drive around the world looking for trees. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Have you got any spare trees? Uh, We need trees for our desert island. Oh, I see. How many trees would you like? Enough to make a forest. There you go. Thank you. Vroom, vroom, vroom. The dinosaurs are having fun jumping up and down on the desert <laughs> island. <laughs> the dinosaurs have broken everything. Naughty dinosaurs. Now we'll have to make it all again. What are you making? This is our desert island. With roads and houses. And shops. And trees. There. We will live here forever. Again. It would be really good if we had a lake. Yes, a lake. <coughs> One lake. But it needs water to be a proper lake. Oh, where are we going to get water from? We must fly around the world in aeroplanes. Pepper and her friends are pretending to fly around the world looking for water. Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pedro. We've got a desert island with houses. And roads. Shops. Trees. And a lake. But we need water for the lake. Have you got some, please? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just pretend. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. You want pretend water. Yes. 
Hmm, I know where there's pretend snow. We can melt it to get pretend water. Where? On the mountain top. That's a slide. It's a pretend mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Pedro? Because it is a hot day, the snow has melted. Can't we pretend it hasn't melted? No, it's melted good and proper. Look at this spoon. That's my face. It looks funny. Whoa! Now I'm upside down. How does that work? It's a funny magic mirror spoon. <laughs> I know where there are some big funny mirrors. Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent. Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair. The parents have brought the children to the fair. Roll up, roll up. See my amazing wobbly mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> the tent is full of big wobbly mirrors. Ooh, what's happened to my body? <laughs> <laughs> You're a wobbly jelly. <laughs> <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> How does it do that, Daddy? It's very simple. Illusions of optical differentials by convex and concave surfaces generate patterns... So it's magic? Uh, yes. It's magic. Look at me! <laughs> I've gone all squishy! <laughs> I've got a long neck, like a giraffe. <laughs> this mirror looks normal to me. Daddy! Where's your big tummy gone? What tummy? <laughs> <laughs> it is Mummy Rabbit with her baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, sister. How are you today? Very good, sister. Mustn't chat for long, though. I've got customers inside the tent. Aren't the mirrors amazing, Daddy Pig? Wow! I can see two of you. What do you mean? I can see you in the mirror. But there's no mirror. Is it magic? Silly Daddy, it's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. Oh. I suppose we do look a bit the same. Well, we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> <laughs> now we can bury it. Yes. yes. And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> the pirates are off to bury the treasure chest. Over a hill, round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we've buried it? Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Oh! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro, don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello. Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Who goes there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, I don't know, Mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden. Oh, dear. How are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map. Mummy Pony is using Peppa's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! <laughs> Thank you! Treasure maps are very useful. Especially for finding your glasses if you accidentally bury them. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think that is? It's Baby Alexander. Baby Alexander is Peppa's cousin. No, 
that's you as a baby pepper. Baby pepper. <laughs> Somebody sounds like they're having fun. Look, Daddy, that's a picture of me as a baby. I remember it well. It was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? When you were little, we moved into this house. We brought all our things on top of our car. Mummy Pig put some pictures up. Daddy Pig put up a shelf. And Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Where's Grandpa's lovely flower garden now? Daddy Pig looked after it. Uh, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Oh. And anyway, you needed somewhere to play. You and Susie loved to play in the garden. <laughs> Was Susie my friend in the olden days? Yes, you and Susie have always been best friends. <laughs> <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Pepper. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh. What did we do? <laughs> you cried. <coughs> you burped. <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Papa. <laughs> <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> George. He was a baby in my tummy. <coughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa like antiques. What does antique mean? Antique means old and rare. Usually, yes. But my antiques are brand new. That chair comes in a set of 12. Nice, isn't it? Is it made of oak? Yes, it's made of plastic oak. Is it comfortable? You mustn't sit on it. Antique chairs are not for sitting on. So, what do you do with them? You look at them. That's not much fun, even for a grown-up. Buying a present for Granny and Grandpa is hard work. I don't understand. My shop sells everything. There must be something you like. There is. I like this teddy. And I think Granny and Grandpa would like it too. Oh, oh, let's buy the teddy then. A very good choice. Who's going to pay? One penny and two buttons. Here's your change. One button. Thank you, Mr Fox. Pepper and her family have come to give Granny and Grandpa Pig their presents. Hello, my little ones. Happy anniversary. Oh, another glass vase. It's a grown-up present. That's why it's a bit boring. It's lovely. We'll put it with our other glass vases. George and me bought you a present too. I hope you like it. A teddy bear for Grandpa and me. Thank you, Pepper and George. He's very good at cuddling. Does he have a name? Um, he's called Eddie the Teddy. And what does Eddie like to eat? Chocolate and broccoli. <laughs> That's the best present we've ever had. Oh. But if Eddie is going to live here, he'll need children to play with. We can play with him, Granny. <laughs> and every time you visit us, he'll be here for you to play with. Oh, goody! <laughs> <laughs> what do cowboys do? They tell stories, sing songs and eat beans. Beans on toast for everyone. Hooray! Cowboys love beans on toast. Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know a real cowboy song? Yes, I made it up and it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans with a bing and a bong and a boo. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo, baked beans bingly bongly bang. Let's have a story in the tent. 
I could tell a story. Make it scary. <laughs> It was a wet and windy night in the Wild West. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something was outside the tent. Was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! <coughs> ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, Cowboy Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh! Wild animals! <laughs> A wolf! Yes, it's my daddy. Oh. Hello, Mr. Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr. Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh, I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. <coughs> oh, 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 it sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK, we'll take Mr. Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr. Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr. Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr. Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> 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 I don't want Mr Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs. What's this? A cuckoo clock? Yes, it goes cuckoo, cuckoo. But it's broken. Can you mend it, please, Grandpa Pig? Hmm. Let's take it to my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed, where Grandpa mends things. I'll take a look inside. Grandpa! Now you've really broken it. Oh. I wonder if I've got a book on clocks. Ah, here we are. How clocks work. Grandpa Pig has mended the cuckoo clock. Hooray! Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Mummy, Grandpa's mended the cuckoo clock. That's nice. What's that? It's my old computer. I can't mend that. It's not broken. I've got a new computer. I thought you might like my old one. 
Um, I I'm not sure I, I, I really need one. Oh, a computer. What does it do? You can do letters with it. Look, Granny. A, B, C, D. And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing it does is Happy Mrs Chicken. When you press this button, she lays an egg. <laughs> I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun! There you are, baby. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh, he keeps turning his head. Yeah. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. Plane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was Mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was Daddy. No, Mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander <laughs> is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <laughs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Pepper. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes! <laughs> now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! That is not music. That is just noise. Anybody can bang, bang, bang. But to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. All the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop! <laughs> now we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Gazelle.
Madame Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. Children, are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. <laughs> do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you, but you, you look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> and rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Oh, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. My little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. We simply pour the oil into the engine and... Uh, What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. It's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? Yes. It's completely disappeared. I'd like to help, but I don't know a thing about engines. I'm probably just being silly, but this looks a bit like an engine. Ah, yes. Well spotted, Mummy Sheep. The camper van has its engine at the back. There. That should be enough oil. Thank you, Mummy Sheep. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Just up the next hill. You have reached your destination. Hooray! Time for bed. Where will we sleep? Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed. Ooh! And you two will sleep upstairs. But there isn't an upstairs. Oh, ho, ho. watch this. The camper van's roof is lifting up. The washing machine is making the whole room shake. <laughs> oh, Peppa, where's your dress? I'm washing it. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, Mummy, my red dress is all nice and clean. 
Yes, Peppa, but look what it's done to everything else. Oh, dear. Peppa's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh! Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig? We've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. <laughs> no, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! George does not like pink. <coughs> Here are Daddy Pig's friends. Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic! Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! <laughs> Go! Hooray! Hooray! Daddy, you've made your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. Tickets, please. Mr Rabbit has come to check everyone's ticket. Uh, I think I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Meow. There's your ticket, Pedro. You were sitting on it. <laughs> now you try not to lose it again, Pedro. The train is going slowly uphill. <laughs> The train is going quickly downhill. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I feel a bit sick. Can I go to the front, please? OK, Pedro. You can go to the front of the train. <laughs> Do da dum dum da dee da Nay. Hello, Pedro. Not feeling very well. Would you like to drive the train for a bit? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, the train runs on the track. <laughs> <laughs> A signal box. That's on our list. Hooray! The children tick the signal box on their activity sheets. The signal has stopped the train so that someone important can cross. thing on the activity sheet. Hooray! <laughs> Last stop! Wall change! Everybody off now. But, Madam Gazelle, how are we going to get home? Oh, Peppa, we are back where we stopped it. The train has gone in a big circle. <laughs> Tickets, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, Petro's lost his ticket again. Um... Pedro, can I have my hat back, please? There's Pedro's ticket! George and his friend, Edmund Elephant, <laughs> are playing with their space toys. <laughs> <laughs> 
George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Peppa's head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun. Are you going to the moon? <laughs> it's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Peppa. And there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Should we go and see it? Yay! Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Peppa, we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? <gasps> yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. <coughs> there you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. <coughs> it's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> so, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> The wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. Look at me! I'm leaning into the wind. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold Pepper up. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold George up. Daddy, have a go. Uh, I'm a bit too heavy. Come on, Daddy. It's really fun. Oh, all right. The wind is strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Come on, Mummy Pig, give it a try. But if the wind stops, I'll fall over. <laughs> the wind won't just stop. The wind has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> now the wind has stopped. What can we do? Hmm. What's your favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. But there aren't any puddles. Just lots of boring dry leaves. And what do you do with dry leaves? I don't know. Jump up and down in them. Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in leaves. This is the best autumn day ever. <laughs> what a splendid picnic. Please may George and I leave the table and play with Zoe. Yes, Peppa. <laughs> Zoe, I've got my teddy. I've got my monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Dinosaur. <laughs> I've got a toy picnic set. Let's play picnics. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. They always turn up when we have a picnic. We've got pretend orange juice and we've got pretend cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretend.
end cake. It's very nice. Oh dear. I do not think the ducks want pretend cake. Oh well, that means there's more for Monkey, Mr Dinosaur and Teddy. Mmm, delicious. Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says the best cake ever. <laughs> Peppa, George, home time. Bye-bye, Zoe. Bye-bye. Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Home time for us too, Zoe. Yes, Daddy. Cups, plates, monkey, Teddy. Oh, no. You shouldn't be here, Teddy. Peppa has forgotten her Teddy. Again. Peppa and her family are home. Oh, that's enough driving for one day. All I want to do now is relax. Put my feet up and watch some... Teddy! I forgot Teddy! Oh, Peppa. Now Daddy Pig will have to drive all the way back to the picnic spot. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> it's Mr Zebra, the postman. I thought it was your day off today, Mr Zebra. It is my day off, but Zoe's got a very special delivery for a Miss Peppa Pig. Here you are, Peppa. What is it? It's Teddy! Aha! The metal detector has found something. Let's dig it up. It's a little coin. Treasure! Let's find some more. Ah, we found something else. It sounds big. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, this piece of treasure is quite heavy. Oh dear, that is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? Me! What a good idea, Granny Pig. Now I'll just check on the boot. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sandcastle. They need lots and lots of sand. They use buckets to make the castle's turrets. <laughs> what a splendid castle. Hooray! <laughs> Time to go home. Oh, where's the boat gone? Look, Granny. Oh, no. Grandpa Pig is fast asleep and the boat is drifting away. We have to wake Grandpa up. Shout as loudly as you can. Grandpa Pig! Wake up! Wake up! Oh no, Grandpa Pig is still asleep. Grandpa's too far away to hear us. We're stuck on Pirate Island. We're castaways. <laughs> we'll be here for a hundred years. We'll have to eat wild fruit and berries. <laughs> and we'll have to eat insects and slugs. Ugh. Oh, where did the sky go? Don't worry, Peppa. We're just flying through a cloud. Ooh. Wow, the sky is back again. Hooray! <laughs> Big balloon, big balloon, bigger than the sun and moon. Flying high in the sky, fly and fly and fly and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Teddy, we're flying really high. Peppa, be careful you don't drop. Teddy, I've dropped Teddy. <gasps> don't worry, Peppa, we'll rescue Teddy. Hold tight, everybody. We're going down. Miss Rabbit is making the balloon go down so that Teddy can be rescued. I can't see Teddy anywhere. There he is. Teddy's caught in a tree. I can use this anchor to rescue Teddy. Slowly. Slowly. There. Daddy Pig has rescued Teddy. Teddy! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> oh, dear. 
No one is looking where they are going. Look out! Tree straight ahead! Hold tight! Oh. First Teddy was stuck in a tree, and now we are stuck in a tree. Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? Oh. We are lost, aren't we? Yes. Oh. Ooh. Look, everyone! That's Granny and Grandpa's house. Yes, we must be in Grandpa Pig's garden. As I thought. Ahoy there! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. Goodness me! Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit! Uh, help, please. Grandpa! We can't get down! Don't worry, I've got a ladder. Hooray! Everyone climbs down from the big balloon. Granny, Grandpa! <coughs> Miss Rabbit took us for a ride in her big balloon. I sell you this morning. I'm a solar-powered torch, a wooden frying pan, an electric gnome. Nothing for us today, thank you, Mr Fox. Unless you've got a metal detector. Metal detector? Well, why didn't you say so? I've got a metal detector right here. Fantastic. It's just like my old one. It's got three settings, finding things, good at finding things, and really good at finding things. Excellent. We'll take it. Now we can find George's lost key. Hooray! How does the metal detector work, Grandpa? I'll show you. Imagine I have lost this coin. I turn on the metal detector and swing it gently from side to side. I'm looking for it here. I'm looking for it there. But, Grandpa, you put the coin here. I know, Pepper. I'm just pretending to look for it. Why don't you pretend to look for it here? Here, you say? Aha! I found something. It's a coin. Yes, Grandpa. It's the one you just put there. Yes, Pepper. And that's how you find things with a metal detector. Can we have a go? <laughs> of course. Let's find that lost key. <laughs> here, there, here. We found something. No, oh, it's a nail. Oh. Keep looking. <laughs> here, there, there's something else. A spoon. What's that doing here? <laughs> this is fun! No. <laughs> key, key! George wants to find the key. Ooh, what is it, Grandpa? It's the key! Hooray! <laughs> now we can wind up Mr Robot. No! George never wants to lose the key again. Don't worry, George. If the key falls out again, we can find it with my new metal detector. Yes, Daddy. Madam Gazelle said I have to practice. Oh, yes. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you while I, uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practicing too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practising their recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> Bravo! Bravo! Oh. Bravo! Haven't the children worked hard? Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives.
And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Peppa loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> <laughs> And surprise Daddy! What a good idea! Come on, George! <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> Even in the garden. Peppa, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy. There's just one more. Come on, George. Follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Peppa <laughs> is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me! We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. Oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look, it's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine, nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> and even grown-ups get told off. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> is this the relaxation class? Yes. We're all here to find inner happiness and calm. Welcome to the relaxation class. 
It's all about leaving stress behind. So please turn off your phones. Relax your bodies. Empty your minds. Hello, Sports Centre? OK, I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Just keep relaxing while I'm gone. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Oh, hello, Peppa. I've come to do a class. Me too. See you later. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness. Silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle! Good! I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker! <laughs> Calm, harmony, stillness. Jump, jump, jump! Relax! Mummy Pig, what are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how high I can go. <laughs> Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny. That's what everybody says. Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? <laughs> yes, I think I will. Whee! This is wonderful. I feel lovely and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig loves bouncy castles. Everybody loves bouncy castles. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, where do you want these fireworks? Put them on the next hill, please, Mr Bull. Okie dokie. Children, before we celebrate Chinese New Year, we must sweep up. Why? We must sweep out the old year before we welcome in the New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Finish, Madam Gazelle. Lovely. Now, we must be careful not to sweep anymore, so please hide all the brushes. <laughs> all the children are hiding their brushes. Madam Gazelle, why do we hide the brushes? So we don't sweep away the good luck that the new year brings, Pedro. OK. When you have good luck, nice things happen. Ooh. Can I have some good luck, please? I'm 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 they say if you wear something red, it will bring you good luck. Peppa and her friends pick something red to wear. I'm wearing lucky red shoes. I'm wearing a red hat. I'm wearing a red scarf. And my red dress. Ah, a red scarf and a red dress? That will make you extra lucky, Peppa. That's not fair. I want to be extra lucky too. If I am extra lucky, I will share it with you, Susie. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Now, to celebrate the new year, we will have a dragon dance with a big dragon like this. Ooh! Is it a scary dragon? No, Danny. It is a super friendly dragon. Where is it? We are going to make it. What's that? It looks like a sausage. It might look like a sausage now, but soon it will be a magnificent dragon. How do we make the sausage look like a dragon? With cardboard and paints, ribbons and your imagination. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are making a dragon. 
These are special paints for grown-up artists. There. What colour shall we begin with? Red, please. Why red, Pepper? Red is my favourite colour. But first we need to paint the sky. Look, what colour is it? Blue, of course. Very good. Let's start with blue. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh! What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh! Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Wow! <laughs> Daddy, can I paint the cherries? Yes, Peppa. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. <laughs> there, the painting is finished. Hooray! <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. We're painting a picture. <laughs> the ducks are running through Daddy's paint. Shoo, shoo, naughty ducks. Shoo, ducks, shoo. Stay away from our painting. <laughs> oh, no. The ducks have made paint footprints all over the painting. Oh, dear. What was all that noise? Mummy, the ducks have spoiled our painting. Hmm. Let me see. The ducks are making paint footprints in the garden, just like the ones on the painting. You'll see the cuckoo soon. What does she look like, Daddy? Now, let me think. She moves her head like this. <laughs> and she flaps her wings like this. <laughs> and she says, Ahem, Cuckoo! <laughs> <laughs> what a noisy little cuckoo you are, George. <laughs> Look, it's going to do something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Silly George, you missed the cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo was really, really brilliant. She went. Cuckoo! And you missed it. <laughs> Never mind, George. You can see Cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Waiting is boring. Come on, George. Let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see Cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. Mr. Dinosaur wants you to play too. Grrr. <laughs> Grrr, dinosaur. George has missed Cuckoo again. <laughs> Never mind, George. Why don't you play in the garden? I'll call you when it's time to see Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> It is nearly 11 o'clock. Peppa! <laughs> George! Time to see Cuckoo! Quick, George! You can't miss Cuckoo again. Oh. George is running faster than he has ever run before. <laughs> My goodness! This is... Hard work. Mummy Pig, you're not peddling. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Daddy Pig. I was just enjoying the view. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Pepper's friends are here. Hello, Pepper. Hello. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Pepper, do you want to race too? <laughs> okay. 
as long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready! You can start when I honk the horn, like this. Woo! Pedro has set off too soon. Stop, Pedro! The race hasn't started yet. Sorry, Mr Pig. I was just letting you know that the horn sounded like this. Woo! Stop! 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 Sorry, Pedro. That time it was my fault. The next time I honk the horn, you can go. Did you say go? I think so. Go! Go, go! go on, Peppa. But, Daddy, you didn't honk the horn. Danny Dog is in the lead. Wait for me. Whee! I win! Well done, Peppa! Yes. I'm very good at cycling downhill. <laughs> it is home time for Peppa's friends. Bye-bye, Peppa. Bye. Home time for us too, Peppa. Mummy, I'm tired. All the cycling up and down hills has made my legs tired. Can I ride on your bike? But where will Daddy Pig sit? Um... Daddy can ride my bike. It's very nice. Oh, OK. <laughs> I love the tandem. Daddy, do you like my bike? Yes, Peppa. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Pepper. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oops-a-daisy. Ho-ho. Silly Daddy. <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before, and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Pepper how to skate. Skating is easy, Pepper. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> Look at me! I'm skating! Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Peppa. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Peppa how to stop. Oh. <laughs> Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes, I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> what a surprise! George can skate beautifully. Wow! Look at George! Open wide, please. Ah! Wider, please. Ah! Now, let's take a look. Dr Elephant uses a little mirror to look at Peppa's teeth. I hope you haven't been eating too many sweeties, Peppa. <laughs> it is quite difficult to speak when your mouth is wide open. <laughs> <laughs> there. All done. What lovely clean teeth. She takes after me. <laughs> Can I have the special pink drink now? Yes, but don't drink it, Pepper. Spit it out. <laughs> George, now it's your turn. No. George does not want it to be his turn. 
Maybe you can hold Mr. Dinosaur while the dentist looks at your teeth. <laughs> Grr, dinosaur. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you, Mr. Dinosaur. It's not a real dinosaur. It's made of plastic. <laughs> Hold tight. You're doing very well, George. Now, can you show me your teeth? George does not want to show the dentist his teeth. George, open wide like this. Ah! <laughs> ah! ah, there they are. All done. You have very strong, clean teeth, George. Are they as lovely as mine, Dr Elephant? Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> George is very proud to have clean teeth. George, don't forget the pink drink. <laughs> oh, but wait! What's this? What's wrong, Dr Elephant? George has clean teeth, but this young dinosaur's teeth are very dirty. Oh, no. Dr Elephant is very cross with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Not at all, Pepper. It's my job to make teeth clean. The water jet, please, Miss Rabbit. The dentist uses water to clean Mr Dinosaur's teeth. The polisher, please, Miss Rabbit. This will be a bit noisy. Dr Elephant polishes Mr Dinosaur's teeth. That's right, George. Mr. Dinosaur needs some special pink drink. Gosh! What shiny teeth you have, Mr. Dinosaur! Now we can have a tea party. <laughs> <laughs> Here are Pedro and Danny. Nay. Hello, Pepper. Can we come in? Sorry, Danny. Only girls can come into the treehouse. Boys are a bit noisy. They always spoil the tea parties. But George and Richard are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, George. This treehouse is for girls only. <laughs> What's wrong? The girls won't let us into the treehouse. <coughs> it isn't fair. Ho oh, oh, ho! I think I can help. Come over here. Now we can have a nice, quiet tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? There. Now you boys have your very own den with its very own drawbridge. <laughs> A castle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Can we come in? No. This is a boys' den for boys only. But I love castles. Castles aren't as good as tree houses. Come on, girls. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Every castle needs a flag. Wow. They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A flag, please. And it must be better than the boys' flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho, ho! Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <laughs> Toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. 
Peppa and George love Grandpa's little train. Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo. Choo choo choo. Choo choo choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo. All day long. And the piggies on the train go oink oink oink. Oink oink oink. Oink oink oink. And the piggies on the train go oink oink oink. All day long. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny, if you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up all those who want to ride on the train. Me! Me! And hands up all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a little train. 